Christos Fellas has challenged me to find out about my very first sale on Amazon. So let's come back to him, let's tell him and you guys about what my first sale on Amazon was like. Stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson. And quite simply, I've been selling on Amazon now for four years doing online arbitrage within the UK. And I'm on a mission to do one million pounds. I'll drop a link up there to my video about that. But enough about me. What are we going to do in this video to talk about Christos Fellas' challenge? Let's go through it now. Right, first things first, I'm going to go through number one. What is the challenge? What did he ask of me? That video that he talked about. Number two, I'm going to talk to you about how I started selling on Amazon. And number three, I'm going to talk to you about my first ever sale on Amazon. And then number four, a little special coming up for some other people you might know. Okay, so first things first, if you don't know, Christos Felos is a, an amazing YouTuber, but also an amazing Amazon seller and a personal friend of mine, someone who I've met from a city that I spent five years living in, Norwich in the UK. Now, quite simply, I was watching one of his videos the other day and he asked me or challenged me to a, what was the first product we ever sold on Amazon and how did we get started? Well, quite simply today, I want to share that with you guys and come back to Christos and let him know what I sold as the first product. If you haven't seen Christos Ferris's video and what I'll do, I'll drop a link up here to it, but I'll show you a snippet now of what the challenge was. But I want to challenge a couple of YouTubers as well that have been kind of inspiring to my journey. And the final person that I would like to challenge is Thomas Parkinson, who is a UK reseller on Amazon FBA, who's actually on a journey to do 1 million in sales this year. So I challenge you guys to let me know about your first sales when you were selling on Amazon FBA. Well, Crystal Fellas, challenge accepted. Okay, so how did I start selling on Amazon? Well, quite simply, if you don't know anything about my story, I actually started doing wholesale initially because I had a company before which we were doing wholesale and I opened up with them and it just didn't work. I didn't enjoy the company. I didn't enjoy what we were doing. And so we still have the wholesale suppliers, but I did transition them over to, should we say, selling onto Amazon. Now, interesting enough, I just didn't find the margin, I didn't find it working, and it was quite a lot of work for very little money, if that makes sense. And when you come in after competing against Amazon, it wasn't really working, and I just had so much to learn. But quite simply, one day someone said to me, I said to them, it's not working, and they said, well, what else is working on Amazon? And then I asked them, I'm not too sure, and they go, well, what sales? And they said to me basically like, oh, Lego, why don't you try Lego? And that was how I got transitioned from doing wholesale into OA, and today I'm now doing OA, obviously on a much larger scale. But interesting enough, what I will just point out was that my actual first sale wasn't OA, wasn't Lego, it was actually to do wholesale and working with wholesalers. And that was from my previous business. Now, quite simply, we opened up things like stationary suppliers, also IT, and IT was a big part we were doing. Um, it's just so many different distributors and wholesalers, manufacturers as well sometimes that we were working with that we had options to buy and sell. But really interesting there that I didn't actually start OA, I started wholesale. Now, one question you might ask is like, how did I learn everything? Well, quite simply, I was in the Facebook groups and you know there were a lot of Facebook groups back then and they change over time. And I'll probably say one of the Facebook groups that I was in originally when I first started was Secret Wealth Project. I quite enjoyed that group. Um, there was a lot of people sharing, it's a very large group. And quite simply, we just asked questions, adding value back to them. Can I do something? Can I share some deals? But also as well, learning what they know and helping me out. So lots and lots of information I learned from other sellers, but also as well asking in Facebook groups, which I think is a really, really big benefit. So get part of the community, it really helps people. Now look, one question I'll probably ask you guys, and Christos asked it of me, is how did you start selling on Amazon? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really interested to know what made you start doing this journey. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to the challenge that Christos set me. How did I make my first ever sell? Well, quite simply, I kind of talked about it earlier. I had another business, a business that we were selling, we were basically buying from manufacturers, selling into different things, but we were not doing it into Amazon. Now that business just wasn't working. I didn't like it. It was, it was basically another job and it was too much work. So what did we do? I really liked the idea of buying from wholesalers selling, but it wasn't working in the distribution model that we were working on. But then I found Amazon I thought, my God, Amazon's this great opportunity. They do the final distribution to the customer, B2C. And I was like, why God, why can't we use this? 
So what I did is I basically took one of those distributors we had. I think it was a company called Exertis Supply. And if you want to know, they are a stationary supplier, one of them we had. And I basically went through a lot of their products, compared them to Amazon, and to see if I could find a product that was gonna make me money. Now, I wasn't looking for much money, and this was before the times I went to the Facebook groups, and I realized, obviously, what you should be looking for, and I think I was only looking to achieve about 10% ROI. That I was quite happy with, but I wasn't too worried about the ROI initially. What I wanted to do was prove the concept. Could I buy from a distributor or a wholesaler and sell on Amazon and make it happen? Well, the answer is quite simply yes, because obviously I'm here today. But what did I actually sell? What was that very first product? What did Christos want to know? Let's show you now. This was my first product. This is quite simply a like a letter tray. You just put you know your letters in it, your papers, an A4 letter tray. This was the first product that I found that I found that I could buy and resell on Amazon and make money. And remember, I was only looking for 10%. Why? Because I was only looking to make the process work. Understand that. I wasn't looking to get rich. Once I'd proven the process and the concept would work, I could then look at improving the margin. But this was the very first product that I sold and I bought it from a distributor called Exertis Supply. And I don't know, I think I probably bought like 10 of them just for the test case. I think they cost like one pound or something to buy and we could sell them for five. I don't really know the exact figures, but the idea is to say that that was my very first product just to prove proof of concept. And that was all I was trying to do. Now, if you want to know, the one thing was is we sold them, we made yeah 10%, but after all costs of like the Amazon selling fee, obviously we didn't make any money as a business, but I proved the concept, I proved that we could buy from the distributors and sell on Amazon. And that led me on to a really nice journey of buying more and selling it. But the one thing, and I've said it before and I've said it in previous videos, is what I found, I just couldn't get the margins to work. I was buying so much stock and that when I shipped it into Amazon, I was probably making about 10, maybe 12%, and it just wasn't profitable enough. After fees, after maybe Amazon jumping on the listing, bringing it down, or even holding the buy box, I didn't understand all that back then. I was like, I'm just not, not making enough money. I'm investing a lot of money in stock, but it's too much money to invest to make the profit back. And I needed something more profitable. That is why I moved over to Lego i.e. OA and out of wholesale because I just couldn't make the margins work. Now it might be that I go back to it in the future, but right now or right at that time, it wasn't working. And at the time Christmas was coming and I saw some amazing deals on Lego in Tesco's that I could buy and we started doing that. And I went from doing 10% ROI to 30, 40, 50% ROI, much, much better. So always be testing, always be looking at products you can do, never discredit a model, always see, is there an opportunity to do it? And the one thing I'd probably take away from that, we'll share with you guys, is that first purchase doesn't have to be the most profitable, doesn't have to be anything. It's just got to prove, does the business model work? And can you make some money? Because if you can do that, then you can say, right, well, I know how to do the whole process. Now it's about improving that final part, which is getting a better margin or a better ROI. Do that and you're on your way to building a super profitable business. Now, hey, look, what I will say is Christos set me that challenge and it's great. My God, it's been a long time since I've looked back at that first product. And I think it's been really nice to reflect and to share with you guys what my first product is. Because, hey, maybe you look at my journey now to one million and you say, wow, it's going really far. But actually, we all started in the same place. I got my first product was a 10% ROI and I still say it today. My very first review was a one star. I've had a lot of things go wrong. The business model I'd have to learn over time. But I'm interested to see what other sellers have done. What was their first sale? So what I want to do is put a big shout out out there to some other personal friends of mine and ask them, are they willing to share what their first sale was. So quite simply, first thing first, I'd like to ask a good friend of mine all the way from Lithuania, who I went and met last year and did some electric scooters, Mr. Luke Dugan. 
Mr. Luke Dugan, do you want to share what your first ever product that you sold was? And let us all know because, oh my God, your journey is amazing right now. Oh my God, he's doing something like quarter of a million pounds in literally one month over Q4 last year. I was super, super impressive. Now, the next person I'd probably like to ask is someone who is a systems master building out all the time. And do you know what? I think he's got maybe even 6,000 YouTube videos up. So a massive YouTuber. I'd like to ask Mr. Kev Blackburn. Now he has done over 3 million pounds selling on Amazon and quite frankly, super, super impressive. So I'd like to ask Kev Blackburn, are you willing to share with us what was your first product you ever sold on Amazon? I'd love to know that story, how you got started and what the first product was to share it. Now, finally, another personal friend of mine who I've spent some time with and met and honestly learned so much from, that is Emma Louise Hamilton. That is from the Amazon Dream. She is amazing. Obviously, I love her energy, the, what she does in her videos, and she is so just literally out there with what she's offering and adds so much value to the Amazon community. So Emma, I'd love to know what was your first product that you sold on Amazon? Share that with me, share that with the audience, share that with the community. Let us know how you got started and the first product you ever sold. But hey, what I'm going to say is just a big shout out to Christos Fellas to say thank you so much for obviously the opportunity or calling or sharing with me, asking me to create this video. It's been a real pleasure and it's been really nice to reflect. My God, I'm always looking forward. I never really even go back that far. So really, really good. Thank you very much. But what I will say is if you've liked this video, give me a like. Hopefully, maybe we'll do some more shout outs, more challenges to other YouTubers. And hey, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos about learning to sell on Amazon. But what I will say is if you are just starting on Amazon and you want to know maybe how the first few weeks went, have a look at the video around here. That is going to be a, a talk through of how my first few weeks went selling on Amazon. And you can learn from my mistakes, but also my success, successes and grow your business better. But for me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.